all people need to be able to exercise their right to speak out, their right to vote, their right to make their voices heard. Oftentimes, fiscal barriers, attitudinal barriers, and policy barriers really prevent people with disabilities to be full participants in our society. My name is Alice Maud. There are still a lot of barriers to people with disabilities face to implement my participation. For example, in 2012, over 30% of people with disabilities reported difficulty voting to compared to 8% of non-disabled people. People with disabilities are still facing numerous barriers, whether it's at the police station, whether it's filling out an absentee ballot, or whether they're even allowed to vote because there are people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, many of whom are under guardianship for various reasons. Many judges bar people under guardianship from voting, and I think that's another huge human rights issue. They may need assistance with decision-making, but that doesn't mean they don't have an idea of who they want to vote for, or, you know, a desire to vote for somebody. People with disabilities have a voice, whether it's an actual literal voice or not. People have thoughts, people have desires, people want to be involved. That's the work that needs to be done.